Let's see. I'm almost done sending this email and send. Whew. Hi, friends. I was just playing a work at home game where I'm using a computer to work at my home. You know, I was thinking about all the ways that we like to pretend in the green room. That's usually what I like to think about in these videos. And I realized that when we pretend, we usually are helping other people. And so I wanted to think about who we are helping when we play pretend games. Here's a picture of Masaki and Heloise playing a doctor game together. Masaki is helping Heloise make sure that she's feeling okay and then giving her medicine to help her feel better. Maybe next time, Heloise can be the doctor and Masaki can have a turn getting a checkup. Here's a picture of Cole pretending to be a zookeeper. I'm gonna draw a circle around the sign that says zoo, which tells us what Cole is pretending. Cole's job is to help the animals have plenty of space to roam and play, and to help the people have fun at the zoo and learn about the animals there. And here's a picture of Ezra, Nora, Nolan, and Maisie pretending to fix something. Playing a game where you pretend to fix things for people is an excellent way to pretend to help. So I'd like to show you some ways that I like to play pretend where I am helping another person. Come watch some of my ideas, and then I'm going to challenge you at the end of the video to think of ways that you help people in your pretend games. Just like at the beginning of the video, I'm pretending that I am doing work on a computer. But instead of doing work in an office, I'm doing work from home. And when you work from home, your job is to help everybody on your team do the work they need to do at home too. So right now, I'm pretending I'm on a video call with Birdie the Bird, who's also on my team at the company I work for. So we're gonna do some work together on our video call. Hey Birdie the Bird, do you need any help? Yeah, I need some help writing this project. Well, that's okay, we can work on it together. I'm pretending to be Super Teacher, the superhero, and my job is to help people that are in danger. I, oh, wait, look up there. Birdie the bird, are you stuck up there? Here, let me rescue you. Oh, I'm flying up. I can almost reach. Ugh. Oh, thank goodness. I helped Birdie the bird by rescuing her from certain doom. Now, I'm pretending to be a chef, and a chef's job is to help people by giving them food to eat. This is my pan, and I'm pretending that the tree stump is a stove. I'm making popcorn for my friend Birdie the Bird, who loves popcorn. Hi, Birdie the Bird, are you ready to eat? Yep, I'm feeling hungry. All right, then it's, I'm going to give you your food now. Enjoy your meal. Okay. I'm playing a family game, and I'm pretending that Birdie the Bird is a baby. And I'm helping Birdie the Bird by helping her feel nice and cozy and ready to take a nap. To help her do that, I'm going to read her a story. Now, this story doesn't have any words in it, so I'm just going to pretend that there are words and pretend to read the story. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a bear who found an egg. And, uh, wait, I think Birdie the Bird is sleeping. Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Now, I'm pretending to be a bus driver. And my job is to help people get anywhere they need to in the city. Oh, look. We made it to the bus stop. That's what that sign right there says. And Birdie the Bird is waiting at the bus stop. Birdie the Bird, what can I do to help you today? I need to go to the grocery store. Okay, hop on the bus. Beep, beep, vroom, vroom, beep, beep. So in today's video, we thought of five different 10 games where we helped Birdie the Bird with something. 
In the first game, we helped Birdie the Bird do some work projects in a work from home game. And then we played a superhero game where we rescued Birdie the Bird from way up high. After that, we made Birdie the Bird some dinner by pretending to be a chef and helping Birdie the Bird have food to eat. Then we played a family game where we helped Birdie the Bird be a baby and go nice and fast to sleep. And then finally, we played a bus driver game where we helped Birdie the Bird go to the grocery store. So I have a challenge for my friends. I want you to play a game where you pretend to help somebody too. And after you're done playing that game, I'd like you to try a little experiment. I have right here a piece of paper. And this paper has space for you to draw a picture and some words at the bottom too. The words at the bottom say, today I pretended to help. And then you're going to write more words to tell me about what you pretended to help. You can also draw a picture of what you pretended as well. So look, I drew a picture of a bus at a bus stop where we picked up Birdie the Bird to go to the grocery store. So I helped Birdie the Bird by going to the grocery store. I'm gonna write that down on my piece of paper. While I'm writing, I'm thinking of other ways that you could pretend to help people. I gave you some ideas, but can you think of some of your own? Maybe if you like to play an explorer game, you can help people at a museum have more stuff to show to other people. Or maybe if you like playing a prince and princess game, you can pretend to help people in your kingdom stay safe and live well. So really think hard about ways that you help people in your pretend games. There you go. I wrote the words, today I pretended to help Birdie the Bird go to the grocery store. I'm going to send all the families this worksheet to print out so that you can do it at home. If you don't have a way to print this out, that's okay. You can just use a regular piece of paper and draw a picture of what you pretended to help and ask a grown-up or an older brother and sister to help you write the words at the bottom. Now, if you don't want to draw a picture, that's okay. You could just draw a happy face instead because you help somebody and by helping that makes people feel happy. Here's how to draw a happy face. One circle for one eye, another circle for another eye, and then a big half circle for the smile, just like that. But the important part is to make sure that you write down how you pretended to help. And then you can send that to me or Miss Charon or Miss Yetter or Miss Bird, and we'll put it on our website for everybody to see. All right, friends, thank you so much for playing the games with me where we pretended to help Birdie the Bird in so many different ways. I'm excited to see what sort of ways you pretend to help people, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all very soon. And families, once again, thank you for everything that you do. Bye, friends.